This guy? I want to grab this guy. Is there grab me in? We have 40 Victoria Sheep right now. Can I steal this guy for like five minutes, ten minutes? This I mean, if you have board. to. I don't have to. I could leave him no, behind. No, no, take him. It's okay. Go on, let's go. I'll be back. I guess. This is a statement. Yeah. I think it is close to a crime that we do not offer stuff like this on the website at all times. I think that is 100% correct and I would like to offer stuff like that all the time. When I was looking at this, you know what struck me the most about it, which we haven't done before, or at least I've never noticed, is the signature. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's new. Signature series. Like why is there not a Wormwood signature series? I don't know if it's monthly offerings or maybe quarterly offerings where it's like, hey, here's like a set number of SKUs, limited time, maybe even yeah, limited, limited quantity, number, maybe, maybe like limited quantity. 20 of these only. Or and 10, or and it's the fuck. It's the signature series. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. I mean, I'm sure it's a good idea. Yeah. It's got to be a good idea. This is like, these are. This is amazing. How, no, how many it's amazing. It's so a cool thing that most woodworkers don't even know. Like I only got exposed to this via Ian ever, and that's you know 20 years of woodworking experience. It's so unique and so specialized that most companies don't do anything with it. Marketry itself is a like lost art form basically yeah. at this point. Nobody does marketry like this anywhere. I like the idea, I like the name. I even like the name Signature Series. Yeah. The Wormwood Signature Series. It feels strong. It literally has a signature on it. <laughs> it like sells itself. This is yeah. the only Liz Michelle, the only one with both of our signatures. What do you think, Jason? <laughs> I think it's really be cool if it was heavy metal. Yeah. The champers are too small. There we go. Jason's They're way too going. small. They were small on the one on Instagram too, and it was all centered. I can go on and on. <laughs> that oh looks really good though. God. Someone's no. got to be critical. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's technically, technically. Yeah. Holy shit. Composition is very good too. Composition is good. Yeah. Color is good. Great. Execution's excellent. Champers were an intentional choice because it allows more room. It's very difficult to do the same thing with even smaller face space. You should put some veneer layers under that too and get some borders. Mm -hmm. uh, keeps it a little frame and uh, set it off a little bit more. With the blades and blossoms, the other one, we did have different face and cores. Yeah. That's just uh, the customer wanted yeah. a full Myrtle Fall. All right, Nick. All right, Michelle. Ball's in your court. Do you want to see my son? Oh, oh. Oh, I have a soft spot for cephalopods, by the way. <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs>
that's like $500. Yeah, but that's art. So you're telling me that someone could pay $500 and just get a cherry abacus tile? Or we price it less. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm I just, we shouldn't be, be like 50 bucks. Cause then why are we even fucking bothering making these? 100 bucks sounds fine to me for roll the dice and you can get anything. Is that too cheap? I don't even know how much these are gonna cost yet. These are time consuming to like count out all the fucking beads. <laughs> like, these are time consuming to make. I got a print from Crystal Sully. Yeah. It was $500. Yeah. It was this fucking big. There's an epic fucking dragon coming out of okay. the water. Let, let me ask you this. Why was that $500? It was badass. It's limited. That's why. Yeah. It's like basic supply and demand, guys. Like, I don't know, I'm a greedy fucking <laughs> asshole. These are gonna be like one of 100. Two of 100. You're gonna know exactly what tile you have. No, yeah. And that there are a hundred, and like you can go on eBay and sell this for a thousand dollars because they will never be made again. I get the you don't reasoning. Think we'd sell all 100 if we price them at five hundred dollars. Maybe we would, but we're a high-end brand. We don't act like it anymore. So I when, mean, when we're math two fifty sounds reasonable. Five hundred, I, I, I still feel like. It. Bennett, what shy away. You? You're head of design. How do I'm you I'm just feel? waiting to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the limited edition. My gut check right off the bat when I heard 500, I was like, what? But then I didn't think about numbers yet. If you were to sit here and go, we're offering this roll the dice in 16 different woods. What's this wood's price point? What's that wood's price point? Find the median and then add 20%. That's very technical. That's or way that's, better than that's, my just I was like. This is your promotion. You can price them however you want. We don't know how long they're going to take. We don't know how much they're going to cost us. They're going to be the most expensive tile we've ever made in the history of Wormwood. Mm. By far. 250 is good. We can go, I don't know. I'm just like, I think the prophecies are undervalued. Three. Like when we go in, we look and we're like, oh my God, we're selling more prophecies than we can make. That means they're too cheap. Oh, they're $15,000 and we still can't keep up. $20,000. Still can't keep up. $25,000. Supply and demand. I get it. I'm a greedy asshole now. No, I get it. <laughs> Have you rented your rocket yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to fund my ex space exploration. I would like to start getting into the mentality of like, let's do these kick-ass limited edition things. Let's actually charge what they're costing us to do. I have three guys that work full time on these tiles. And then you amortize that over 10,000 tiles. When you're only amortizing it over 100 tiles, it's very expensive to develop an abacus tile. And that's just the truth of the situation. Sorry guys, I thought when we put this up, it was gonna be like, Jason 50 bucks, ass. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> would you rather make 10,000 or 50,000? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I sure would. <laughs> Not typically. Well, we're unorth we're we're unorthodox. We'll see what happens. Ah, I like that. That's heartfelt. Hell yeah! Oh, well, maybe that's how we can celebrate this entire thing. Cause I like that. Oh yeah, love them. Are we gonna smoke cigar together on Worm Life? <laughs> can you hear him? <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. By the bulk. So you're really into him, huh? Are you kidding me? It's uh, life's a little pleasure because I've got daughters and they say dad can't smoke, but I got them convinced that I'm not smoking, I'm tasting them. Yeah, no, I don't drink alcohol, I just taste it. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that all sounds great. We're gonna make this this part for you. I gotta figure out when I can actually get it into the, uh, the machining department. Great. Let me see if I can beg the production department to actually make this thing. All Appreciate right. it, thanks, Tom. You got it, bud. Talk, talk, soon. talk to you soon. They got it down to 1500 and oh. they're making the waffle tile. Hey. So that's 